I just have this little word the Lord put in my heart. And I think for many of us, or what we're experiencing, there's a state of stuckness in very or various places of our life. I just heard the Lord say, don't wallow in your worry. And what he's saying is that, come worship in my wonder. And the Lord's doing something very significant right now. And if we're off wallowing in our worry, we're going to miss it. But if we come to worship in his wonder, we'll be in it. And here's what the Lord's saying. You got to choose if you're going to be in it or not. You can't imagine, you can't wonder or dream enough what God has in store for your life. But you got to begin to walk in it. And we walk in it by surrendering. We said last week, and I believe it's a theme right now, you need to empty yourself if you want to be filled with God's new wine. For me, that's like sometimes every moment I get to hit release and empty because I let the things of the world continue to fill me up and bring that anxiousness and fear and doubt and shame. And that's not not how we were made. That's not the container that God made new. The container that God made new is to hold a new thing. And if you want that new thing, if that's you right now, if you're watching online right now, I know you're stuck You're wallowing in your worry. And God wants to bring you right now to a place of worship where you can find his wonder. So just close your eyes with me right now. And whatever that worry was or whatever that worry is, whether it's your finances, it's your family, it's your relationship, it's a marriage, it's a a child in rebellion. Here's what the Lord says. You don't have to worry. The Lord says, I got it. So Lord, we ask now that as we continue to empty ourselves, be those new vessels, would you pour out a new wine? Holy Spirit, would you remove that worry, that anxiousness, that fear, that doubt, shame, guilt, and would you wash us new, I pray. In Jesus' name. Now, church, let's worship the Lord.